about two mindsets, the growth mindset and the fixed mindset. So if you watch this video in its entirety, you will understand how to move forward after you mess up, uh, quote unquote, on a fitness plan, on a diet plan. So that's what's in store for you. Now, the fixed mindset believes that you are who you are. You can't, you know, you, you, uh, if you, if your your intelligence is limited, like your shoe size, you feel like you can't get any smarter than what you already are. You feel like whatever skill set you have, you cannot learn anymore. You are just, you're just in this box. You're a certain age. This is what it is. That's the fixed mindset. If you think if you mess up all the time, you will always be messed up or a failure. Growth mindset looks at failures differently, looks at everything as a learning experience, looks at uh, that any trait or skill can be enhanced or learned. And that's what I will talk to you about. This is the beginning of the near a new decade. Many people are looking on starting uh, a fitness diet because that's what we can focus on. Losing 30 pounds, 20 pounds, getting healthier, getting stronger. But the problem is that in the past, maybe eight to 10 times before you have failed uh, a fitness diet, quote unquote. Maybe you signed up with a plan or a program or a coach or a trainer and things did not go as expected. So in your mind, what the hell is the point? You just feel like you're stuck. It's never going to happen. A new year, new result of you not getting the results you want. This is what we would consider a fixed mindset. You just think that it's either lose or win, pass or fail. This takes all the joy out of uh, the journey for you in this uh, getting healthier should be fun. So I'm going to give you a story about outside of fitness, though, on how uh, I used to have a fixed mindset and then how I used to have and then basically switched into a growth mindset. So for those who don't know, um, I went to Stony Brook. I got a bachelor's degree. But uh, before Stony Brook, everything was fixed mindset for me. It was either like 3.5, 3.6 or it was a failed semester. Um, it was either an A or an F. Everything was just like super stressful, not fun. And I just felt like I was my grade. Can you relate to that? Do you feel like you are just stuck to a certain grade, a GPA, uh, something like that? That was my story at Stony Brook. Um, then I, you know, also at a St. Augustine's College in Raleigh where I went, where I started at. So those undergrad years became very stressful for me, uh, studying and being med and it just was it's stressful. I used to be super depressed, super uh, just like just not happy with just uh, uh, thinking about those times. Just like uh, those times are over. But what I had to transition to to actually graduate was every test I failed. I was like, how can I get better for the next exam? How can I go back, adjust my mistakes, learn what I didn't, what I need to improve on? And how can I make this C plus a, a minus. So I can make this D, if I'm being honest, I can make this D and A. And that's what we call a growth mindset. How can I make these improvements to basically make this journey more enjoyable and a, a source of progression for myself? And that was just, you can use that example I did in academic uh, scenario. But if we're relating this to your fitness journey, imagine how many times you've started a fitness journey and it did not work out to the way you thought it would. For example, say that you were good all weekend, uh, all week, and then tonight you eat or drink uh, some food that's not on your diet. And you feel like, okay, everything is going to shit. This is what it is. I'm a failure, I feel every time. That would be a fixed mindset. What you could do is say, hey, listen, maybe I need to uh, learn that around 8 p.m. I get the munchies and I need to empty my cookie jar out and put some fruit in there. One quick tip. That's the growth mindset. Now I can move forward and walk around my cookie jar at 8 p.m., but there's fruit. And now I can stay on track, especially if I know at 8 p.m. I'm getting the munchies. These little learning uh, procedures, this learning process for you getting healthier, for you getting stronger, takes time, takes learning experiences over and over and over. And remember, it's not a one shot. It's just, it, it's a it experience. This is why health is health and fitness people practice they preach habits because habits always have to get like fine-tuned and based off the individual every habit is different so on this mindset monday i want you to think about 
Are you approaching your fitness journey with a fixed mindset? Or if you are, let's stop that, suggest to stop that. And how can I approach this fitness journey, my fitness, your fitness journey with a growth mindset? How can I make these next six to eight months when it's really going to catch me when the results start? How can I make these enjoyable? How can I encounter uh, failures or mistakes to my benefit? What can I learn from this? What can I take away from this? These are the questions that like not only my personal clients have success on or we're kind of like reframing that, but there is no failure in this. There's learning experience. You only fail when you quit. And one last caveat, one last thing I want to say is, listen, I know we live in a social media world where you're worried about what people think of you and you're worried about how you uh, present yourself. And if you fail, everybody's laughing at you, but they're not. Nobody's laughing at you. It's all in your head. And once you get by that, if you keep trying over and over and over and you keep failing, but you will find your groove, just hang in there, you know, tough it out. Nobody's laughing at you. Um, and just let me know how you, or let me know what your, the steps you're taking now to get into a growth mindset if you are in a fixed mindset now. I'm Coach Ass. I'm signing out. I'm going to go catch this national championship game. If you got any questions, you can shoot me a direct email. AuthenticWill at gmail.com. That is the fastest way to get a hold of me. Uh, until then, like, comment, share. I will talk to you soon.